First, we're going to add React Native Paper here on the command line. React Native Paper. And then we will add some additional dependencies that we'll use for the vector icons and the safe area. So we'll also add these with yarn. Yarn add React Native vector icons, React Native safe area. Top here, we're going to add React Native Paper, provider as paper provider from React Native Paper. And let's go to our app and we're going to wrap the provider for React Native around the application. Okay, so let's look at this first container here and we'll go. So you find your app right below the return statement and then we'll go paper provider and we'll add it to the end of this navigation container which is the main container of the screen currently let's say if I take a picture I long press it here and if I keep holding it there's no tooltip All right, I'll go to the next screen which is a 360 it's a uh, not actually a live preview but it's a simulation of a live preview because I'm using a camera simulator right now but I want to get a tooltip to work right there's no tooltip so let's first import the tooltip we'll go up to the top here I'm in the main menu tool tip we're going to two tip from React Native Paper. Now for the this is uh, where our buttons are. And we've got these two buttons here, but we want to wrap a tooltip around it. So let's just go tooltip. Well, title equals let's say take a 360 picture with Rico Theta. And we'll add some touch delay here. Enter touch delay equals 200 milliseconds. Leave touch delay equals oops, 200. Then we'll close off the tooltip around the button. Okay. So now when I press it, we have our tooltip. The button itself still works. So let's create the other tooltip for this list photos, which is basically the same thing. This pictures on Rico Theta camera. So this one lists the pictures that's already on the camera and it actually doesn't download it to the local device unless you set up something to save it. So let's test it out. Boom, the tooltip works. Both of them work. This photos button is pulling the image down from the, the camera simulator, which is on Vercel. And it views an equator rectangular in this format. Fantastic.
So I have it connected to a physical device, Ricoh Theta X right now, uh, just to test it out, make sure that it works. Here's the live preview working, you know, in the full uh, 360 view here. You see I'm talking, my computer system, everything's working great here. You can take a picture, slight pause, and the picture comes across. Go back, we can list the pictures on it and uh, see my dining table. And of course, the tool tips still work. So, this is a physical device, actually, Google Pixel 4 that I'm using. Works wonderful with React Native Paper. Only change I did is change the endpoint to the physical device camera connecting over Wi Fi. Congratulations on adding tooltips. We'll cover adding SVG icons or SVG, SVG graphics, so scalable graphics, in the next video. And uh, this is already written up by our friend here, Mr. Shigzi, but his real name is Ulugsun Bobate. Subscribe to the channel for more updates as we progress in our learning of React Native Paper and React Native. We're building a mobile app for the Ricoh Theta camera. You don't need a camera to follow this tutorial series. It is fully available from a Camler simulator online for free.